Joined now by head coach of the Minnesota State wrestling program, Jim Mikofsky. Nice win at home against uh, uh, NSIC opponent with August Daniels. Jim, your thoughts on tonight's match? Um, well, first of all, good, good win. I mean, the guy's been working hard under strange circumstances. Um, we're starting to kind of settle in here a little bit. I thought that um, I think that I think we're definitely better than the way we wrestled. Um, I thought some places where we didn't uh, wrestle particularly well, I thought we did what we had to do and ground it out. So that showed something internally, but we got to get better, got to get better with our techniques and tactics. And I think just trusting our stuff, which requires a lot of work. Chad, Jim, uh, I know uh, team records aren't really that big a deal this year, uh, but still 2-0 and to get August Dana, which has gotten you guys two of the last three years. Just Is it just a good – Good measuring stick this early. Yeah, well, we have a really we have a good conference, and we have rivalries. We've wrestled about even back to the North Central Conference days, so we keep score. Um, you know, it, mat it definitely matters. It matters to our guys. Um, you know, it's just so early. Normally, we both have a lot more matches under us, so we can actually see, you know, what kind of season the kids have, and us included. And um, so we're real, it sounds cliche, you'll probably call me out on it, Chad, but uh, we are focusing on the process and focusing on ourselves. So given you're only going to get six matches before the postseason, how important is a match like tonight for Kyle to get another top 10 opponent? Because you're just not going to get that many good tune-ups, I don't think, before, uh, before your region meet starts. Um, I'm not sure, like for Kyle, like we know more about Kyle's opponents as, than he does. He doesn't really pay attention <laughs> at all. Um, how important is it? Kyle is pretty much, he's a little bit of Spicoli. He's hes kind of a surfer dude where he just, he stays in the now. And, um, you know, I, he knows he knows now that he beat a good kid. And, um, but he wasn't there either. And I don't think it was it might've looked like he gassed a little bit, but I don't think it was that. I think it's just him getting confidence. I'm getting some more match. He's a flow guy. He needs more matches to, to get that flow going. How about uh, Bloom? I mean, he's getting down 10-0 in, in a minute. To be able to make that reverse, clinch the win, just how big is that for him? And just what, what can he do to build off of that one? Well, again, competitively, we'll take it, but he ain't happy about it. He is not happy the way he's performed, and, and we're not necessarily thrilled about it either. Um, but that's kind of been bloom in his career. Now, tonight was a <laughs> tonight was a little bit more of a um, I don't want to say the word gross, but he got a little bit too far down. But he's had a lot of come from behind pins. He's had a lot of um, when he's winning pins, but he's he's just dangerous, and, and guys know that. And it does kind of play into it a little bit. But he wasn't necessarily those quick turns that um, I disagreed on the call in the second one. Um, but it wasn't necessarily that. Is he wasn't ready to wrestle. He, he came in high. The guy shot a double leg on him, got shocked. And it took a little bit for him to get back in the match. But he's a flow guy. That wasn't a fluke pin. You feel like uh, you made progress from the first match to tonight? Um, no, I don't. I don't. I don't, and I don't think Coach Eustace does either. And I bet if he pulled our guys right now, I don't think they did either. I would say we held serve. Um, you know, it was the first time at home, the first week of school, and everything. And those are not excuses. But I think uh, the last couple of years, this group of guys. Uh, it's it's strange, but they focus better when they're on the road. They have a set schedule. Um, you know, they're in the hotel. We're leaving exactly at this time. And sometimes when we're at home, they can get a little bit lackadaisical with, with structure. And um, we'll see if that's part of it. It'll, it's going to all come down to, like, we'll get back to work again tomorrow. And obviously we have our schedule. We have pretty top-heavy with the top teams in the conference. And we like that. Um, we have Upper Iowa coming up, and then I can't remember who it is after that, St. Cloud or Mary. Um, you know, so, but it is, 
it is truly about like we got to we got to get following doing the process doing the little things that we preach there's a lot of stuff that we did tonight that we do not work on in practice All right, that's all we got. Thanks Thank you. Much, Jim. Good, uh, Thanks, good luck. Yep. Good luck next weekend, Supper, Iowa. All right. Thanks. Bye.